from the cold and damp walls of his loneliest days in search of love that his mum left no trace. He followed a voice to his dream, distant strain, far from the man painted misery and pain. When the moon parted ways, <laughs> after courting the cloud, and shone on a path between the trees crying loud, a frail broken soul with the face of a child trudged with such sorrow that it numbed the cold night. The storm in its splendor did the night orchestrate. Now turn to him so the child would be safe. Peering through thickets were eyes on their prey that teared at the sight and then looked away. Arachnids and adders, they lay in wait for even in kindness does evil remain. The boy sat a moment, then pressed on his quest. Hope was a friend he knew he could trust. One boy, boy for sale, he's going cheap, only seven guineas at or thereabouts. Fine boy, boy for sale, he's yours to for a thousand pennies, you can work it out. I could not say he isn't very greedy. Where is love? Does it fall from sky? trying it on with me, Fagin. Just exactly what do you mean by that remark? What I say, I'm not going. Why can't you leave the boy alone? He won't do you no harm. Why can't you leave him where he is? Where he'd have the chance of a decent life. You'll bring him back here, my girl. Unless you want to feel my hands on your throat. She'll go, Fagin. No, she won't, Fagin. Yes, she will, Fagin. <laughs> Well, a liar as well as a thief, eh? And insolent to the bargain. Well, it's settled. Three months of hard labor. All 
Oliver! Run, Oliver! Run! Boo, please, my love. Don't hurt the child. Please.